Hey there, everybody. Uh, the purpose of this video is to get you some solutions to this homework uh, on the Del Taco, uh, Taco Bell, and Baja Fresh burrito analysis. Um, which sounds stupid, of course, because we're talking about burritos. Who cares? But the idea is the math that you do here can be extended to anything that you have to unit price, which is pretty much anything you buy in quantity. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at it here. Uh, I asked in the number one, at first glance, which burrito has the most calories? So if you look at the calorie content, Taco Bell's 380, uh, Del Taco's 450, and Baja Fresh is 860. So 860 is the biggest number, so it looks like Baja Fresh is. But the problem is, is that if you just look at that number, you're making an assumption in your mind whether you think you are or not. And the assumption you're making in your mind is that you are comparing equal amounts. Right? I mean, it, it happens to us all the time. Should I buy that bike or that bike? Well, that bike's cheaper. But why is it cheaper? Is it cheaper because it has less valuable components on it? Maybe the more expensive components work better and they'll actually be replaced less over time. So what you have to kind of do is you have to equalize your comparisons. And that's what unit prices allow us to do. In this case, it's not a unit price, it's a unit uh, a calorie, so to speak. Because that's the next question is, which burrito has the most calories per gram? Calories per gram. So if I look at Taco Bell, so we're only going to do the first, um, the first of these three. Because once you see how to do one, first of all, it's going to fill the board because I'm going to do all three burritos. But also the next questions you'll be able to figure out. So the first one, uh, uh, Taco Bell. Okay. Taco Bell. Well, you know, Taco Bell has 380 calories, but that's not per gram. That is per 198 grams. So, so I want to know how many calories it has per one gram, per one gram. Okay, so the problem with this is we have, to, well, it's not a problem, I shouldn't say the problem. This is what we have to do is we have to convert this to this. So in order to do that, what you have to be able to do is just think about what we've been doing in class this entire time. How do you get from 198 grams to 1? You divide by 198. So to get from 380 to the question mark, we have to, again, divide by, whoops, 1. Eight. And I cannot do that math in my head, although it's going to be about two, I think. Let's just take a look. Uh, we got to do 380 divided by 198, which I get 1.9. Yeah. So this is 1.92 calories per gram. Per gram. So that's Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Um, Del Taco and, 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 hi there. <laughs> uh, Taco Bell and, and, and Baja, or excuse me, Del Taco, Baja Fresh exactly the same way. So we'll just do Del Taco here. All we got to do is, is update the calories it has and the grams it has. It has 450 per 242. So 450 calories per 242 grams of burrito to get that down to one gram same same idea divide this but divide it by 242 and divide this by 242 okay so 450 divided by 242 it's gonna be about two again isn't it Again, this is why we're using a calculator. 1.9. Again, it's one. Well, it's actually a little bit less. It's 1.86 calories per gram. So so far, Taco Bell has the most calories per gram. Most calories per gram. Uh, not by much. I mean, that's not very much at all. Actually, it's less than one calorie per gram. And a calorie is it's a unit of food energy. So one calorie, I've probably burned. 60 or 70 calories talking to you on this video right now like right now huah, there's a calorie so i mean like whatever eat a burrito um okay so the last one is baja fresh baja fresh and that uh has 400 excuse me 860 calories but it's got 473 grams so if you look at just look at the quantities of the numbers 860 is about it's less than double 
the 450 behind it, which is uh, the, 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 the Del Taco, okay? But if you look at the actual weight, compare the weights, they're almost double. If you look at 242 to 473, if you double 242, you get 484. That's almost exactly how much a Baja Fresh Burrito weighs. So if you double the weight, you would think in your mind you double the you double the calories, but that's not actually what's going on. So with Del Taco, or with the Baja Fresh, it's got 860 calories per 480, actually there, 473 grams. Get a bigger board. We gotta get this down to one gram. And you're seeing the drill now. Divide that puppy by 473. Divide this puppy by 473. And we do 860 divided by 473. at 1.82, which is again less. Now, some of you are gonna argue, again, that's not very much difference between Taco Bell, Del Taco, and Baja Fresh. As a matter of fact, I would almost argue that they're all within the same realm of calories. But you gotta pay attention to that. When people look at it at first glance, oh, Baja Fresh has the most calories. I'm gonna to go, to, uh, go to Taco Bell because there's fewer calories. Well, look at the serving size. The serving size might be smaller, which might all be the only reason why it has fewer calories. I mean, suppose they make mini burritos. Well, that's gonna have even fewer calories. That doesn't mean that you're not getting the same rate of calorie intake. I mean, you eat one of those burritos, you say, oh, I'm hungry, I better eat three more. So now you've eaten more calories than if you had just eaten one of the larger ones. And that's the idea, and I'm, I'm not gonna do questions three, four, five, and six, but question seven I ask, um, uh, what do I ask? I ask, uh, explain in one or in two or more sentences why using unit rate comparison in a case like this is fairer than not using it. Well, because if you actually use it, you're getting the actual, it's called an apples to apples comparison. Um, you often hear that, uh, either apples apples or apples oranges. Um, when people are comparing two things fairly, they are said to compare them apples apples, which means you're 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 viewing data through the same lens of detail. When you look at just how many calories one thing has over the other, you're not viewing why it has, for example, more calories than the other one. It might not be because it's less healthy. It might just be because there's more food in that, which is exactly what's going on. If you've ever been to Baja Fresh, their burrito plates are humongous compared to a little tiny Del Taco or, or, or Taco Bell uh, bean burrito. So you're actually getting more calories because you're getting more food. So it may be like looking at a box of Cheerios from Costco and then looking at one of those little mini boxes from, uh, from um, uh, the, the, the little happy pack, not happy packs, what are they called, the, the variety pack and saying, oh my God, that's so much cheaper to buy that little mini box. It, but it's not actually, if you, if you think about how many Cheerios are in that box and compare it to the Costco box, the Costco box makes a lot more sense if you're gonna eat it all. So that's an apples, apples comparison. Unit pricing allows you to do apples, apples comparisons. So anyway, that's all I wanna to talk to you about today and I'll see you in class.